What's up, Freak Nation? I'm Cartoon Joe. Hey, I'm Travis. And welcome to another episode of our freaking journey, the vlog. Uh, the how's it vlog. going? Uh, you know, it, it, that's a hard question to answer, man. Um, I feel you. I, feel you. I, uh, I don't know what is going on with me, but I know that it's not normal. Mm. And um it's it's a lot uh it's a lot of like uh i don't know like what god so there's, there's a lot to begin from especially from last week and uh for those of you who are watching this uh, you're gonna acknowledge that we had two weeks worth of uh vlogs being released at the same time skype thing total mistake on their end um but if you guys remember from last week uh i did kind of gain back um a good chunk of the weight that i lost damn near all of it um but this week, uh, this week is a little bit better than last week. Uh, I got back down to three thirteen, so I'm okay with that. So, so just point of order: three thirteen or four thirteen? Four thirteen. Okay, because that would be incredible. <laughs> yeah, three thir- three thirteen would be cancer. So, <laughs> uh, so I got back down to four thirteen uh, as compared to the four nineteen I was at last week, uh, but not back to like the four oh nine I think it was at the beginning. Um, gotcha. But uh, it's just, it just, I don't, I know it's not this diet. I know, I know that for a fact because this diet is really, again, <clears throat> this diet is like a normal food consumption kind of diet. It's a more of a moderation than an actual, like, what you should be eating kind of thing. And I get that. But I've had a lot of stomach problems since we started doing this, and I'm not sure why. Oh, dang. Yeah, so it's it's weird. Again, like I, I can't blame the Mediterranean diet because there's nothing on this diet where you know, like it should be different than everyday eating. Right. Uh, I think the only exception is uh, it just says like eat little to no red meat, <clears throat> which is fine. I mean, it's totally doable when you got chicken and fish in the world. Oh, yeah. um, so I, if the only thing I could factor it towards, which would o- would only make sense to me. Is that because of the keto the month before and the lifestyle of eating beforehand where it was like not so much doing keto but like leaning always towards keto and how I eat. I think the abundance of sugars and stuff that I've been eating over the last three weeks when it comes to the raw honey and the oatmeal or uh, the fruit smoothies. Um, and stuff like that. I think that's been kind of messing with my stomach because it's been a lot of sugar, whether it been natural or whatever, uh, right. which I try to focus more towards natural sugar, obviously. Um, I think that's what's been uh, messing with me. I think it's just my stomach is not really used to all the uh, sugars and stuff that I've been putting into my body over the last week. Because uh, pretty much almost every day, uh, I've either started my morning with uh, a bowl of uh, cinnamon and honey, which I found mm-hmm. out, and I don't know uh, what you do with your honey. Do you usually do water? Do you do milk or with my honey or what? what I'm sorry, your oatmeal. Oh, your oatmeal. No. oh, I use I use water. I do stove okay. top. If you ever get a chance, try it with milk, and if you use cinnamon and honey in it, it tastes like horchata. Oh, I bet and it does. I oh. love love horchata. Mm hmm. Um couple of times because i i did i did have some uh, i did have some milk uh in the fridge that because i don't drink a whole lot of milk right but, uh, i mean and so it lasts me a while especially the gallon so i know it was like it was getting towards the end of like you know like hey your milk's probably not going to be good another like yeah. you know four or five days so I was like, okay well i gotta get used i gotta get through this so i started you know using it in my oatmeal and pour the honey in there just to get some kind of fucking sweetness to it Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I was like, you know what? Let me let me throw cinnamon in there too, you know, because I, I did that before uh, when I just had regular oatmeal with water, mm-hmm. and I was like, you know, this it tastes just like horchata. It's I love it, absolutely amazing. Um, but <clears throat> but mostly that. you gotta try it. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, but mostly uh, for breakfast, it's like it's like you, that oatmeal with either water and milk, uh, cinnamon, and honey. Uh, or, you know, I have a couple of eggs, uh, with, uh, either spinach or just cheese, you know, whatever, and uh, whole grain toast. And then lunches, I, I usually either stick to my wraps or I don't eat lunch at all. Um, but I try to focus on lunch because of the whole intermittent fasting thing. 
Right. Um, and then dinner, it's either if I have lunch, I don't have dinner. If I don't have lunch, then I have like a quick early dinner kind of thing uh, where it's like chicken breast um, and yep. or, sh- or shredded chicken, you know, just like a quick because I just make it in a crock pot real quick just so it's something there. And right, I, right. I can throw it over some spinach and stuff like that with some vinaigrette. And, yep. uh, but I think I, I think I think a lot of it is uh, is due to the sugars and stuff from the smoothies or that's what my dessert is, is an gotcha. apple or a nectarine or a banana, like something sweet that I can end the day with. Um, yeah. Is it, uh, are you saying, not to, not to uh, be gross. Uh, are you talking it, about poop? Are you talking yeah. about poop, Joe? Is it a poop problem or is it like a, a belly problem? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little of both. Like, I, I feel like I, I feel bloated a lot. Um. But yeah, like it's like it's like it's like the whole like bowel movement, if you will. Yeah, um, it alters between uh, feeling like you have to go but can't go, and not feeling like you need to go but you definitely need, you definitely should get to, you know. Gotcha. So it's, it's it's like a back and forth thing. So, um, yeah. so I don't, as I said, I don't know if it is relatable to the sugar, but I'm I'm guessing that could be the only cause of it. Um, a little bit I think could be added to stress and everything, obviously, because. Yeah. You know, they're still hunting for a job thing, and I'm finally getting responses back from companies, but they're either, uh, you know, hey, sorry, you're not qualified enough, or you're overqualified, or uh, you get a job off for something that's an hour away for 10 bucks an hour. So, yeah, yeah so there's, there's that mindset of um, there's nothing out there that's going to work for you, there's not, you know, and all this other right. stuff, and obviously bills and all this. It, it's just, it's a lot. Uh, mental wise so i think that plays a factor in it too as well but um i have been doing the uh the ddp yoga i've been working a little bit on the uh, 30 day challenges and stuff like that so um yeah just definitely trying to stay active which is a plus and keep my head focused on other things other than the uh, the stressfulness of things and uh just taking uh taking probiotics a lot of probiotics i try to balance out this whole uh bloated gut uh weird feeling and um yeah so i guess yeah i guess overall which um which actually this is our last video for this vlog uh for this uh challenge and everything so um i guess if i had to sum up uh how this diet works um i definitely encourage people to try it um i think it would work a lot for those who didn't do keto again just because of the sugar and the carbs and all that stuff yeah it on the tail end of keto i would agree yeah yeah so but i mean for for the people that do have the uh the ability to buy naturally organic food on a consistent basis um i definitely recommend trying this diet it's it is very easy it's like they say i mean like there is no limitations to what you can have it's just it's moderation right and uh it's it's completely doable. The biggest thing of it is just you just gotta watch how you eat because you there's ability to overeat, and once in a while it could get a little bit pricey just based on what kind of meal plans and stuff you want to follow. Which there are multiple meal plans out there for this particular diet, um, but it's a good diet. I definitely recommend it. Just don't do it uh, around keto. So yeah, now give yourself give yourself a break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, what about you, Joe? How, how have you been this past week since we last talked? And uh, what's your overall um, yeah. feel on you know, Mediterranean? I, uh, I, I've really enjoyed the diet when I've stuck to it. Um, I have done a terrible job of sticking to it, especially the last couple of weeks. I think um, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not my friend's fault for coming to town, but uh, his coming to town really threw me out of whack with it. Um, last week, Danger, Danger was in. Or two weeks ago, I guess at this point. And, let, me, let, me you, let me ask you a question real quick yeah. before you continue. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you uh, do you ever like sit there and like think uh, like when something doesn't go right, you're trying to find like the reason why, like mentally you keep wanting to blame something you know isn't right, and like outspoken you're trying to justify how it isn't, but you're still trying to justify how it is in your head. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I'm very right? familiar. 
<laughs> right well that, that's yeah. that's that's exactly why i do like with the stuff around here it's like it's like in my head i'm like it's like it's like geez you know like if i had a job and a girlfriend i wouldn't be so stressed and everything but then speaking of like it's like realistically it shouldn't matter if i'm with somebody it shouldn't matter how much money i make but you has like yeah but it really does you know what i'm saying and it's just so goofy i like you're trying to like internally battle yourself and it's like you really don't know like because you know yeah any excuse I'm, like you know I, yeah yeah, like I'm I'm responsible for my own actions. I'm responsible for my own way I react to things. I could have done a better job of not falling into my own pat- old patterns right. uh, when he came around. That being yeah. said, his being around did lead me to fall into my old patterns. <laughs> and it was very easy to, to overeat and, and eat a lot of sugar and eat a lot of stuff I wasn't supposed to be eating. I just, I've never, I haven't been able to get back on the wagon. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and I just have not been able to do it, so... Um, I'm looking forward to switching it up again uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, well, the biggest, the biggest thing for this uh, diet, uh, especially for you, um, you weren't really looking for a weight loss diet, just something to kind of keep you in track as you worked on uh, forming, you know, forming uh, your your physical appearance. How has the working out and stuff been? Is that yeah? I, I, like- I, I, it was kind of the same thing. I stopped working out when when he came came over, and I have not started working out again. Um, during that first week, I, it was, uh, I didn't, I just didn't have the energy to do it because of the, the amount of sugar I was having. Um, I kept crashing. I just didn't have the, the energy to do a workout. Um, and now, now I'm, I think I'm getting back on track in general. Like I'm, 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 my calories are back in, in control and I, I'm eating a lot more protein, which is giving me a lot more balanced, yeah. uh, uh, sustained energy. But I just, I just haven't started working out again. And I, I feel like a, sh- a schmuck about it. So, but I, I haven't gained too much weight uh, back. I, I, I checked today. Um, I, I forgot to weigh myself this morning again. But uh, I'm, I'm within two pounds of where I'd like to be. I think I weighed in at 216.7. Um, before that, I was weighing consistently about 214.9. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've eaten today. I've had some coffee. I've, I've had some, some bacon and some bread, um, homemade bread. Oh, nice. Um, so like, I, I feel okay, but I, I haven't gained a lot of weight back, but I, I, I have gained a small amount. Um, and like I said, like, like we were just talking about, I'm not worried about gaining the weight so much as I am, um, you know, getting, getting the recomposition. And I, I don't know. I don't know. I still feel like I look good. I'm, I'm looking at myself. I don't have big old fat cheeks like I was having before keto. Um, you know, um, I'm starting to fit in my shirts again, which is a little disappointing. <laughs> I was ready to go up a size, you know, yeah. but I don't know. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, but at least, you know, but how do you feel more about, how do you feel about the Mediterranean diet overall? Yeah. Like as a diet. I do think it's a great diet. I think uh, when we're done doing diet challenges, it'll probably be the diet I go to. Um, mm-hmm. It'll probably be my, my forever diet. Um, I really like the types of stuff I can eat. I really like the amount of stuff I can eat. Um, I just, it's, it's really, it's the meal prep stuff. You're supposed to have like, uh, from what I was reading, you're supposed to have beans three times a week. And um, that's not a big deal. It's just, you know, finding time to cook beans because we always have dry beans around instead of uh, canned yeah. beans. You know, um, having a salad, you're supposed to have a little salad before and after every meal or whatever I've, I've read, uh, you know, that, that's one way to do it. And it's a way that I really liked, but it was, uh, that's really hard to do. Um, uh, so I, I ended up having a lot of spinach I had to throw away, you know, cause it just, it just went bad in the, in the crisper. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It was, it was a little <clears throat> discouraging, but it's, it's a great diet. I really enjoy the diet. I do think it's something that I'll come back to in the future. Um, yeah. But I just I just got to do a better job of, of of sticking to it. I think that's that's part of what makes it so hard is it's it's not quite strict enough to force you to stick to it. You yeah, know, with, it, it's you, definitely. You, no, go ahead. Go ahead. With, with keto, you don't have any choice. You're, you're stuck to you have to eat this much fat. And the only way to do that is to do it. Mm-hmm. But with Mediterranean diet, you don't have very, you don't have super specific macros to keep to, and it's just keep your calories and keep moderation. Yeah. And that's, and, and that's definitely something that like, you kind of, I, I, I kind of realized that like when we first started out and like kind of looking up the information and research on it is it's, it's a self-created guideline on how you go about this diet. 
Um, it's like you said, like, you know, when it comes to keto, <clears throat> keto is heavily focused on macros with diet being the, uh, the key uh, component in that. Uh, when you look at Weight Watchers, there's a point guideline you got to follow. Um, special case, slim fast, beach body, all of them have certain guidelines, but Mediterranean basically says, you know, limit the red meat. And mm-hmm. that's about it. You know, obviously junk food, but staying away from junk food is a uh, junk food is a rule in all diets. Right. Um, but with Mediterranean, it's it's more of a it, it gives you um it basically puts it all in your hands saying, Hey, listen, you need to realize that you got to create your own guidelines. You got to say, okay, I can eat whatever I want. I got to limit to this calorie count or find this macro and not exceed this in any way. Because there is a macro count to the Mediterranean diet, but it's not really followed. Um, right. I, can't remember, I can't remember what it is. It's like, I, I don't even want to pretend to remember what it is, but I know it's put in my FitPal. Um, but yeah, I mean, when it comes to Mediterranean diet, like there, there's not really much of a rule book for it. It's like, right. this is this is all on you. Right. You know, it's like, yeah. it's like, it's like if, uh, if keto or all the other diets were like, you know, your, your adolescent teenage years to where your parents kind of guided you through life, you right. know, fucking Mediterranean diets, 18 years old, hanging off to college yep. time for you to make choices on your own. And hopefully they're the best choice for you. For sure. You know, yeah. it's, so can, it's, uh, you know, with, with keto, it's a bit, um, I, I don't want to go as far as say it's a crash diet, but you start to see results right away is what I'm trying to say. You know, mm-hmm. uh, with Mediterranean diet, I think if you're trying to lose weight on it, um, you're really you're not going to see huge results for probably six months or even a year. You know, it's it's a much slower. And, and I think that's it's a part of the philosophy of the diet. Everything is is slower food, slower, you know, not necessarily a slower metabolism, but but taking advantage of the metabol- metabolism you have and not trying to force it to be something it's not. Yeah. You know, um, losing the the doctor recommended two pounds a week or whatever, like, you know, and I, I could see how that would happen over time. Mm-hmm. So yeah. especially stuck to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, um, our next diet is definitely uh, the poster child for crash diets um, as we uh, focus on the military diet uh, for August. And we'll talk more about that uh, in next week's vlog and everything. Um, but I'm happy with the Mediterranean diet. I'm glad we tried it. Um, mm. I I know it's it's definitely not something for me. I know I'll need more structure for uh, for dieting uh, goes. So right now I'm I'm still for the keto diet. Um, that's kind of a little biased on my end just because I know it a lot eat a lot more. Mm. But I I know I'm definitely one of those guys that need structure when it comes to a diet because uh, you can't you can't you can't put me in front of a buffet and tell me to eat one plate. It's just <laughs> it just don't happen. <laughs> No. Well, it's better than they charge so much for a buffet. <laughs> Fourteen dollars uh, plate, you know, you better eat like eight of them. Mm-hmm. I get it. All right, uh, but yeah. So, Joe, so this this is our uh, this is our final week. Um, obviously, we got a break uh, coming this weekend and everything. So, um, it, it's hard it's hard to ask if there's anything that you've been craving that you can't have um, on this particular day because there's not really much restrictions, but. Do you have a plan for this weekend? Something that uh, you haven't had in a while that you've been craving that you couldn't have during this diet? I think probably not only because we were talking about uh, most of the things that I, t- that I tend to crave are the kind of things that we're going to uh, eat for our other blog. Oh, Maybe yes. We'll yeah, this, this, yeah, we're doing it this weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're, uh, uh, I can't think of the words all of a sudden. Your Italian's beef, your hot dog, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah that stuff is just so good and it's it's terrible for you i think but uh in moderation you know all right i think so. i think if there was a if there was a wheat roll option it'd probably be a little bit healthier right yeah yeah uh, what about you what are you craving what are you looking for uh you know ice cream has been like a big thing um what one of the one of the things i am kind of excited about um as we as we do the ranking thing uh, for Portillos and everything, I've never really had a chocolate cake shake. Oh, so I'm excited. I think that's going to be on the list. I don't think we really narrowed down the uh, list of what we're going to have. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. So um, I, I just I don't I don't know. I, I think it's just the idea that this ice cream shop is in town. But I've been a I've been craving ice cream since I'm a dad. In fact, that I, I was able to have it in between our last break. 
Um, their Amaro Cherry that they have is phenomenal. Absolutely love uh, anything cherry flavored. So uh, I think it's just the ice cream. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of cravings I definitely have, and sugar isn't much of a craving because in my head I keep thinking that you know this is why my stomach's all messed up. But at the same time, like it's that sweet treat that I've definitely missed out on. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Nice. Any other thoughts you'd like to share? No, no. I think uh, I think we covered it all, man. Fantastic. I'm I'm out too. So uh, uh, thank you for joining us. Um, this has been uh, our freaking journey with the Mediterranean diet. Um, looking forward to the next one and uh, see you next week. See ya. Oh, we usually do the uh, I'm Cartoon Joe. <laughs> I'm Travis. Bye.